everybody, Greg Cazillo here for froknowsphoto.com and I am here to dispel a lot of the myths and a lot of the uh, potential issues uh, but also the benefits of using multiple catalogs within Lightroom. Uh, the number one thing that I do to speed up my workflow is having multiple catalogs. Now if you're just starting off in Lightroom you're probably better off just having a single. Um, personally, I have catalogs, as you can see here. Where are they? Open recent. Uh, there are all my catalogs. So, 0305, okay, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then I have a separate one for some of my web design stuff. And then I have some demo catalogs that I use for my videos. Now, that allows me to work very well. Um, I, on average, I probably have about 20 or 25,000 photos in each catalog. Um, in fact, the 2010 catalog, I actually have 20,000 already, so that one may end up being closer to 30 or 35. Uh, I don't know what the top end is that Adobe recommends, but I don't see any reason why you couldn't have 100,000 photos in a single catalog. Uh, this just works well for me. Um, don't uh, Personally, I don't think you should go too far with making a lot of separate ones. Make them general enough. Like, I would never do, personally, a wedding versus a portrait catalog. Uh, I think that would be just too much. But, you know, by year is general enough for me. Uh, it's a big enough time span where I'm not switching catalogs too often. You know, I do a lot of switching, I'd say, you know, January, February. Maybe I was switching back and forth a bit. But it's not too bad. And, you know, going and switching a catalog, realistically, is as simple as this. And... You know, in a matter of, what, 10 seconds, I've switched my catalog, and look, I can switch right back in no time. So, switching it isn't the end of the world. Um, so, that's number one. If you really want to have multiples, think about a good general kind of bucket that you would want to put everything in that you can stick with, and then go with that, and then be sure to back those up uh, separately, and, 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 you know, stick with that system. Um drawback of that is, is that you couldn't do a search for all of your, say, wedding photos or portrait photos, whatever it may be, and see them all in one place. Uh, so do keep that in mind when you're kind of setting up your buckets of stuff. Uh, now, other ways of doing it uh, with multiple catalogs would be, number one is having the same catalog on multiple computers. Typically, in that case, I would recommend getting the very fastest hard drive that you can and putting it on your computer and using that drive in between multiples and not forgetting to back that drive up. Um, if you're in a network situation, you could have a single hard drive with all of your photos stored on a single computer, but then move the Lightroom catalog, which is on an external hard drive, between the multiple computers. That's going to be your simplest way to move it, to do it, to go back and forth. Uh, your fastest drives are going to be eSATA drives for a PC, uh, or if you're running a Mac, then you're going to need to get a FireWire 800 drive, uh, which is definitely not as fast as an eSATA drive, but it's the best you can get with regards to an external, I believe. Uh, I'm sure if, uh, if I'm wrong, the uh, Mac guys will definitely let me know it, but uh, as far as I know, that is the case, especially with the new iMacs, uh, FireWire, 800, FireWire 800 is the fastest that you're going to get. Uh, whereas eSATA on a PC is much faster. I think it's three to four times faster uh, with the three gig SATA devices. Now, uh, again, so you're moving that same catalog. So you can plug that drive in and then you can just say open and there it is. Now, if your photos are on a network drive, which a lot of mine are uh, on a regular basis on my separate server, it's going to know it. And if it's through a map drive, a common map drive on a PC or a, you know, a common mount location from a Mac, it's going to end up seeing them in the same place. So then you don't have to worry about backing the photos up separately, just your Lightroom catalog. And that's going to make your computer and Lightroom run faster. Now, if you're running and doing location shoots, then you really want to work on a master and slave configuration. Uh, you figure out what your master one is. Uh, you know, if it's if you have a desktop or, uh, you know, an iMac, and then you have, a, you know, your laptop, whatever it is, and you, you know, you take that out on locations to shoot. And you might shoot tethered now that Lightroom 3 has that option. Uh, or maybe you're going on vacation and you wanted to copy all of your photos over that way and work on them while you're gone uh, like I have done in the past. 
Uh, then you'll just want to do an import, and that's actually really easy. Uh, basically, you'll work, run uh, uh, Lightroom like you normally would, importing all of your photos on your laptop. Then when you get back home, copy it over to an external hard drive. Hopefully, you've backed it up. Uh, you're going to hear me say that a lot. Back up, back up, back up, because data will it always has a possibility of loss. So always be backing stuff up. Now, you'll then imp just copy that over and very simply import from catalog file import from catalog I believe that's the same on the Mac and then this is my demo catalog that I'm going to import from and I'm going to choose that catalog now I can see a preview if I want uh, don't really need to in this case and it's going to ask me which folders that I want to include so I'm going to include everything and then where do I want to move them or how do I want to handle them now in my case uh, what I would do is uh, I would be copying those photos over manually to my server, to another drive. I'll do it through the Finder or Windows Explorer, uh, again, Mac or PC. So I, I like to copy my photos over manually or use another external program to make sure that everything uh, is syncing properly and that there's no data corruption issues. So what I would do is just add new photos to catalog without moving. If you want, you can choose to copy the photos to a new location and import um, and it would you know you can you can use this copy to dialog here uh, or you can say don't import new photos now those three options the last two options copy new again I won't really use that but so the two main ones that I use are add new or don't import new all right if I'm talking to import new what that's going to do is if the photos are already in this catalog it's not going to import them it's not it's going to see oh not there okay don't want to touch them now new photos yes okay now if there were existing photos found which in this case there are not then what would happen is the you have the option to overwrite the settings from the catalog that you're importing from and overwrite them on the master catalog now that is very, uh, it's a good way to go. It makes it really easy. And if you need it, you can then preserve the old settings, as it says right here, as a virtual copy. Again, that's a good way to work for a master and slave. Now in this case, uh, I'm coming back from vacation, or I was out on a shoot and I'm importing, or say you uh, you went out to meet with a client and you're coming back home after working with all the wedding photos or the or the portraits, and uh, you know you've ranked them, you've sorted them, you've cropped, and you've black made them black and white. You did all this work to them, so you just want to re-import those. And so we're going to add new. And if you were changing them, if they were existing, we would uh, have them overwrite. Okay, but in this case, I'm going to check everything and I'm going to import. Now, the really great thing about this is that it imports everything. It imports key everything that's saved in a catalog will be imported as far as I know uh, everything from your keywords to your metadata uh, to your develop settings your cropping uh, all of your uh, you know your different rankings everything is imported okay and even your collections as you see here I created a little collection just to show that it can be done this collection popped up here as it was importing because I had it in the slave catalog and so it automatically moves that stuff over for me. So moral of the story is, just like you were getting told a story when you were a little kid, moral of the story is it is not difficult to import photos from another catalog. It's not difficult to move them from one catalog to another, uh, to merge a couple catalogs if you found that your system really wasn't working, or if you had a couple of them and you didn't realize it, or... Um, you know, whatever the scenario may be, you can always re-import that into a one master catalog and clean everything up and get it in good shape. All right, any questions, please feel free to hit me up with uh, with those over at the Fronos Photo Forum, uh, fronosphoto.com slash fronos. Sign up there, ask me any questions, I'd love to answer them. Uh, or you can hit me on Twitter, at Cazillo, C-A-Z-I-L-L-O. All right, guys, we will see you next Wednesday. Greg Cazillo for Fro knowsphoto.com. This was importing photos and working with multiple computers in a Lightroom catalog. See you.